Hello and welcome to Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. Guys, today this is just a quick video. Uh, just want to share with you what's going on here on the homestead. I like to keep you guys uh, updated and also it's a way that I journal uh, things that are happening or growing on the homestead as well. Uh, but today what I want to share with you is that we heard something around 5.30 a.m. this morning that sounded like a rooster. And I had been looking at these chicks uh, for quite some time. And two of them uh, were looking like roosters because as you can see on top of their head, that little, uh, I don't know what it's called. I can't think of it right now at the moment. It's larger than any of the other chicks. And uh, I really believe that they are roosters. Uh, I've been hearing crowing. I don't know which one or whether it's uh, both of them crowing. Uh, but uh, I believe we have two roosters here on the homestead. And when I purchased these chicks uh, from the tractor supply at a day or two days old, um, I, would, I was told that they were pullets, which are female chicks. But of course, it's never 100% accurate uh, in sexing chicks. And so it looks like now, instead of having 17 hens, what I actually have uh, are 15 hens and looks like to me to be two roosters. And I don't know if you can tell, but even their feet and their legs uh, are much larger uh, than the hens. And as you can tell, they are listening to me by the way they're turning their head uh, from side to side. But yes, I believe two of them are roosters. And uh, because I'm in a suburban area, uh, really not supposed to have roosters, only hens. Um, but uh, based on how much noise they're making in the neighborhood will determine if I'll be able to keep them or not. Uh, but of course, um, the roosters come in handy because they can help fertilize the eggs to create more baby chicks in which I wouldn't have to continue to purchase each year. So that is a plus. Uh, also the fact that um, they help protect the hens, that is another plus. Uh, they help to keep order uh, in their coop, which is another bonus. Uh, but then there is uh, the noise factor. And uh, the fact that uh, I'm in a uh, suburban neighborhood, even though um, we are all on acre uh, plots. Um, I'll just see how noisy it would be, whether or not it would uh, affect the neighbors in any sort of way, then I'll have to make a decision. But anyway, ultimately, uh, when I raise my chicks, when they stop laying is when uh, they go into the freezer anyway. So um, just wanted to come on and do a quick video and uh, let you see how the new chicks are doing here on the homestead. They're growing very nicely. Uh, the hens haven't started laying eggs as of yet, uh, but that could be any day now. And uh, the two gray ones, this one here. Let's see if I can maybe come around. There he is. There he is, you can see him there. And then that's the other one over there, uh, are roosters. And uh, <clears throat> the golden ones are called the uh, golden sex links. And I totally forgot the name of these gray ones. Um, but as you can see, we have two boys in the coop. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. I appreciate the time that you spend watching my videos. Thank you so much. God bless. Bye-bye.